Even when you feel low, you can still go Even when you feel slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never answer to no man, I still go Go, go Hello guys, we return to Sutton United, let's go to the top. As you can see, we are sitting top of the table, 73 points after 29 games. 14 points clear of second place, 23 points clear of fourth. With just with just under 20 games left in the season, if we don't get promoted from here, we've done something seriously, seriously wrong. As you can see, we've got the fixtures here for this week, and we're conspicuous by our absence, and that is because... We are in the FA Cup fourth round against Birmingham. But how do we get here? Let's have a look now. So last time you were with us, we beat Rochdale all the way up here 2-1. I just wanted to get a big chunk of games done off of camera. Get rid of the World Cup break and, and get through till sort of pretty much January was done. So we could uh, get to some of the more exciting games in the business end of the season. We went out of the next round of the uh, Papa John's Trophy to Plymouth. Played a fairly rotated team. Paid the price for it. We then played Oxford in the FA Cup second round. Drew 0-0. Beat Carlisle 2 in the league, then beat Oxford 4 2 in the replay. Then wins against Colchester, Leighton Orient, Tramere, followed with a draw against Crawley and a win against Gillingham. We then beat Wimbledon 2 1 and beat Coventry of the Championship 4 1 in the FA Cup. Absolutely destroyed a team two leagues above us. But then we were the ones to get destroyed as we went away to Salford. Gary Neville cries no more. They beat us 3 0 for only our second league defeat of the season. We played Crawley again in quite a short space of time, beat them. This time at home. And then another 2-2 draw with Harrogate like the beginning of the season. And that now brings us to the FA Cup fourth round where we've got a home tie against Birmingham. Right, without any further ado, let's get into the action. So the team to face Birmingham, we've got Ward in goal. We've got Cavanaugh at left back who's a new signing on free transfer. Roe, Goodliff and Matheson complete the fence. Eastman and Holm in the midfield. Nerfield, Hagar from the new free signing, Ajapong, just behind the striker, Stewart. And we see how the teams line up here. Our usual 4 2 3 1. Let's see how Birmingham are going to line up. Again, that formation I like to see. And they're in pretty poor form, so maybe we've got a good chance in this game. Right, let's get underway. So the game starts. And coming up to the 10 minute mark, we'll just watch this highlight, see what happens, and then you know what's coming. Matheson, with the effort, puts it wide. And of course, it's customary to chuck in and encourage at this point. Coyne gives the ball up the line to Troy Deeney. Gives it to Hannibal. And saved by Ward. And we've got a free kick now. Matheson with it. Gives it back to Goodliff. Going to put a patient play at the back here. Rogue gets it forward. Dealt with by Birmingham. Chong plays the ball over the top. Rowe deals with it. But he's lost out to Robson Canu. Fires straight at the goalkeeper. And Ward makes a decent save. Birmingham with the corner now. Placetta. Puts it over the top. And it's cleared by Rowe. Bit of pressure here from Birmingham City. Back-to-back -back corners, can they make them count? Placello with the ball in again. Sanderson at the far post and Eastman deals with it. Great play by Craig Eastman. What a boy. So we're coming up to half-time now. We're going to have any more highlights this half and we are. Kavanaugh gives it back to Ward. Kicks it long. Stuart misses out by Hagoff's there to mop up. Adjapong through on goal. And cut out by Birmingham. We're coming up to half town now. All in all, fairly pleasing start. Seven shots to their ten. I've had slightly more possession. We've had the slightly better XG. Things are pretty even so far. Good team talk at half time. Maybe all we need to turn this around. I'm going to have the hands in the pockets, and I'm far from pleased with what I've seen. All right, let's get out and get to it. So, second half's underway. And of course, we're coming ten minutes into the second half, so we chuck in another encourage for the culture. Hour mark goes by now. We get our first highlight of the second half. Set piece for us. Callum Holmes on it. Can he put one in the top corner here? Off the bar and cleared by Birmingham. But Rowe still on the ball. What can he do with it? He gives it back to Holm. Comes to the edge of the box. Plays it to Nerfield. Gets the ball across and Birmingham cut it out. Might be a time for us to think of making some changes. But we'll see this highlight out first. Givlif gives it back to Ward. Place it to Kavanagh. Gives it forward to Nerfield and gives it back to Kavanagh. Ball over the top. Can he run onto it? But Sanderson wins it. But Nerfield's going to mug that back. He's going to run at the defence here. What can he do? 
It's never going to get it in from that angle. Right, let's make some much needed changes. Nerfels run his race. So let's bring on Sam Matthews. Adjapong can come off for Ben Knight. Goodliffe, even though he's playing well, is rather tired. So let's bring on Jordan Spence. And that'll do for now. Let's see if we can make a few more changes. Stewart is looking tired and on our bookings. So let's bring off Bougiel. Holmes not having his best of games. So let's bring on Alistair Smith. We're coming up to the end of the game now. Birmingham get a last minute set piece. Smith gets it clear. Haygarth wins it. What can he do with it? He's going to run down the line. Cuts inside, gives it to Smith. Plays the ball over the top towards Ben Knight. And Roberts deals with it. But Matheson's on it now. Plays the ball forward and gives it away. Can Birmingham get, get us on one last counter-attack? Great ball from Sean. Hogan's through on goal. That's a great save by Ward to keep us in the FA Cup in this tie. And we get the ball clear. What a big save that is from Lewis Ward. One absolute baller. Could this be one final chance for Birmingham to get the win? Robson Cano at the far post and Ward deals with it like the majestic beast that he is. And that's it. Full time. A nil-nil draw. At home with Birmingham. We get the replay. 15 shots to their 18, better XG, we slightly had better possession. Lewis Wall with a man of the match performance with an 8.3. So I suppose I better come back for the second leg. See you in a minute. So there we are guys, we beat Stevenage 6-2 in the league. In the game in between our FA Cup doubleheader. Nerfield, Eastman, Stewart, Smith, John and Cassidy. Let's get to the FA Cup. So the team for the second leg, Wall in goal, Furlong, John, Goodliffe, Spence. Eastman Holm, Nerfield, Smith, Knight and the new boy, Ryan Cassidy up front. Got him on a free transfer from Portsmouth. Right, let's get to it. Right, the game is underway. Away at St Andrews. Chucking in and courage at 10 minutes, as always. Going by the stats, we've had the uh, better of this early game so far, shots-wise, but they've had the most possession. No highlights so far after 25 minutes. 10 minutes left in the half and still no highlights. And as if by magic, one appears. Furlong on the ball now. Home. Gives it back to Louis John. Gives it to Spence. Goodliffe on the ball, back to John, back to Goodliffe, goes long. Cassidy, I think won that, or maybe their player did. But Birmingham mopping up, all the way back to their keeper. They're going to build out from the back now. Wisdom with the ball over the top, Goodliffe deals with it. Callum Holm, I suppose a lovely ball over the top. Ben Knight's through now. Cuts back inside, gets the ball across, and Nerfield's there to volley one home at the far post. To give us a 1-0 lead away at Championship Birmingham. Could we be going through to the next round? Good play by Holm with the ball over the top. Knight goes to the line, cuts it back. Nerfer with a lovely side foot finish into the bottom corner. We lead 1-0. So 40, 41 minutes gone and we have a throw in. Smith. Cut out by Chong but Eastman's there to mop it up. Comes back inside, gives it to John. And gives it back to Eastman. Go all the way back to the defence now. Holm. Gets cut out by Birmingham, challenged by Nerfield, and Callum Holm picks it up again. What can he do with it? He's going to turn back inside, spreads the play across to Jordan Spence. He's going to run at the fence, he's going to unleash one, and it's going to just go over the bar. And we get into half time and we lead Birmingham 1 0. We've had more shots, but very, very little possession. Can we do a smash and grab on these boys? Right, the second half's underway. And after five minutes, Birmingham with the long throw. Dealt with by Goodliffe, but Hannibal gets it back. Birmingham in the ascendancy here with some more highlights. Colleen gets the ball, gives it to Bakuna. Placetta's going to win that. Roberts now gives it back to Wisdom. Ball over the top to Hogan. He's through on goal, smashes it home, and Birmingham back into this game 1 1. So we see here Roberts gives the ball back to Wisdom. Going to play a ball over the top to Scott Hogan who controls it and Smashes it past the goalkeeper. 70 minutes gone now. Still no more highlights in the game. Time to freshen a couple of bits up. Smith is looking a bit tired, so we bring on Haygarth. And Knight, even though he's playing well, he's looking pretty tired, so we're going to bring on Ajapon. Birmingham bringing it forward now. Jukovic gives it through to Hogan, who's through on goal again. Great save by Lewis Ward. What a goalkeeper for this level he is. John's going to come off for Rowe. Cassidy is going to come off for Bougiel. Eastman is going to come off for the other new signing, Ryan Tunnicliffe. We're heading into extra time now. And that's it, we're in extra time away to Birmingham at St Andrews. More shots, less possession. Extra time is underway and of course in extra time you should get an extra substitution. Holm is going to come off for Tom Carroll. Going to encourage the boys and see if we can find our way into this 
highlightless first half of extra time. We go into the second half, plays it to Spence, ball over the top to Nerfield. What can Nerfield do with it? When a better place he cuts it across and Bougil deflected over the bar and we get a corner. Carroll's going to step up to take the set piece. Fires it in and Dion Sanderson clears with relative ease. Five minutes left now. Can we hold it? Can we hang on into this game and get into penalties? It's looking that way and that's it. It's a penalty shootout. Let's switch the TV camera for the penalties so we get a bit of angle of them. Jukovic fires into the bottom corner past Ward. Boom, go 1-0 up. So Carroll's going to step up. What's he going to do? He's going to put it in the bottom corner too. Now it's time for Hogan to come up against Ward. Can he be a hero? What a save by Lewis Ward. Could that be the save that keeps us in the FA Cup? The Lebanese nightmare, Bougil stepping up against John Ruddy. Put, sends him the wrong way. And Sutton a 2 1 up. Hall now stepping up against Lewis Ward. Can he save another? Um, I don't know what to say about that. He just kind of let the ball go past him. So Ryan Tunnicliffe now, another three signing. Sends the goalkeeper the wrong way, and we're three to up in this shootout with two. That pen's left each. Bakuna now against Lewis Ward. Can he make himself a hero yet again? Good penalty into the bottom corner. 3-3. Three, three. We've got the penalty advantage though. But we're coming down some really poor takers now. Furlong's going to step up and take. Sends the goalkeeper the wrong way. What an emphatic penalty. It's 4-3. Birmingham missed this. That's it. They're out and we're through to the next. We win this. We're through to the fifth round of the FA Cup with a League 2 team. Dean steps up. Lewis Ward saves, he's the hero. We're through to the next round. Absolute scenes here at St Andrews. As League 2 Sutton, we knock out a championship big boy. We get 120k for that as well. Finances have gone up, we had about 300k in the bank, we've now got 500,000. And we get Millwall in the fifth round. Another championship team. Home tie against another championship team that, you know, I fancy our chances. We win this, we could get into the quarterfinals of the FA Cup with a League 2 team. We're the lowest team left in the Cup. So, we'll be back soon. We're going to be back for that FA Cup fifth round game against Millwall. And depending on how we're getting on the league, because it could be possible, we might be getting promoted really, really early on this season, because we're miles clear. We might come back for the Newport game or the Crew game, but we're definitely back for this Millwall one. Right, guys, if you enjoyed that, I'll see you again soon. Peace.